Hey everybody, <laughs> hey everybody, <wherever. laughs> this is Aries0083, I'm just filming this because um, I think it's interesting. Now, I've been, lately I've been customizing some of my Halo figures, and um, one of the tools that um, <laughs> Koba K or uh, Rich uses he says that you can use a blow dryer which I got from Target for twelve dollars to heat up your figures enough so that they're soft soft enough to pull them apart which I've done here with Cat, one of my favorite peg warmers <coughs> well she's not a peg warmer per se the peg warmer of the line is June but I just wanted to show off the inner workings <laughs> look at that sexy torso <laughs> so there she is um, I'm just experimenting with this one but recently recently <laughs> I bought some extra figures so I could customize them. Like right here, you have Carter. I've been using white Gundam mark on him, but he's not complete. I'm gonna see if I take him apart so I can paint him better, because that's one of the things Koba K um, uses um, the blow dryer for. And I've been painting this cat. <laughs> A stealth cat with a dark blue Gundam marker. Looks decent, but I figure when I take her apart, I'll be able to paint her better. Well, uh, one of the other things that people use blow dryers for <laughs> is um, to take stickers off of packages. I tried that with the Halo, um, <coughs> yep. I tried that with the Halo packaging, but all I got was, um, <laughs> bend it, uh, <laughs> it warped the packaging, that's all I got. I tried to peel off the sticker, but... Either I didn't heat it up enough, or or it doesn't work. We're gonna try again. Just hope plastic doesn't shrivel up on me. The reason I want to remove that sticker is so I could scan it better on a flatter surface and uh, use it for my Halo Reach action figure gallery. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. And <laughs> buy a hair dryer. It's only twelve dollars at Target, the cheapest one. Bye.